Hello there and welcome for another Dragon Ball Legends video. It's Mini Maxi. And today we have some new characters and a brand new banner and a brand new LF coming into Dragon Ball Legends. So we have three, as I said, characters. We have a new Vegeta. So the clue was not, unfortunately, was not Garlic Jr. Again, I will never have one in Dragon Ball game. Anyway, uh, so it's the Vegeta that says you're number one. You know, with uh, Kid Buu versus SSG3 Goku. We have LF Kid Buu, yes. LF Kid Buu coming before LR Kid Buu in Dokkan. Believe it or not. And then we have a uh, free to play Rising Battle Buhan. Now we're going to be able to 14 star thanks to the 50 stages and uh, hopefully a thousand chrono crystal as well. That's the way it should be, or it used to be. So let's have a look at the animation then we already have the full kit so i'm not even gonna read what's on twitter we're just gonna see the full kit after so first the two animations let's go for vegeta you're number one i see you're not totally inept that's it you're number one so what about the green card, yeah? It's your green card and a blue card and that's it. I see you're not totally inept. Okay. So I guess he's not gonna have an ultimate or they would have showed it. That's a bit on the economy side of things. But I Okay, we'll see. Now, uh Kid Boo! There he is. So that's the LF. Let's have a look at this. All right, interesting. Okay, Kamehameha for the super attack. Blast armor on the ultimate. Nice. Yeah. Of course. Oh, nice. I love the windscreen. Okay. It's actually cool. <laughs> Stop the thread there. Yes, there's nothing special there. But the ultimate is in three parts. Like, yes, then you have. This is really cool. Second part, the blast, and then the LF part. Okay. And the windscreen. Alright. Cool stuff. And we have an LF Kid Boo. Okay. Uh, there's no preview for the Buhan. Alright, so let's have a look. Let's see the Vegeta. So, Vegeta is a regular sparking. So, let's see him at 6 stars. Let's see what that does. Uh, he's on Vegeta Family, Other World Warrior, uh, support type yellow. Okay, so first of all, yellow. Okay, so for Saiyan and Vegeta Family, so it would basically replace the trunk. Or you could have a yellow, yellow, blue with him, the right trunks. And the LF Majin. That is lots of blues now in Vegeta Family. But not that many yellow. Okay, well. There's the god Vegeta, obviously, but he's not meant to be a Vegeta family, but he could be. Anyway, uh, so stats wise, sorry, uh, 2.1 million health. Okay, good, but not crazy. 193, 196, struck and blast, what? 135, 137. Okay, so let's have a look at max. Max 2.45, 225, 228, 158, 160. Okay, good defenses. But again, for, for 14 stars, not crazy either. Like for a brand new unit, I would expect like 170 for a 14 star. Like, come on, 14 stars. Like, imagine how many copies you need for a 14 stars or how many multi-Z power you need to put into this. That's crazy. That's the, the, the defense are not higher than that for 14 stars. Yeah, okay. So nothing really impressive there. 
especially at 14 stars. So more realistically, six stars. Six, seven stars, like, yeah. Nothing crazy, really. Next, uh, main ability, restore allies health by 25%. That's already great. 95 on an unfavorable element for 30 time accounts. Inflicts all enemies with attribute downgrade, minus 50% to health restoration. Always gonna be one of those anti regen kind of thing. For 60 time account, that's great when you're against regen. That's really good. Shorten ally suspension count by 5. Always good. Okay. Requires 20 time accounts. Fair enough. Unique. Uh, stalling for hope. You reduce damage received. Okay. Stalling. I see. Reduces damage received from regen uh, or powerful opponent. Interesting. So, okay. By 20%. So, that's off the bat. No condition. You reduce by 20%. Pretty good. Too bad the defense are not higher. Apply the following effect to allies when this character is switched to standby. Oh, my God. Restore health by 10%. Activate three times. Restore key by 50 that's huge. Plus 30% damage inflicted for 50 time accounts. Wow. Nullifies Goku attribute downgrade for 10 time accounts. So he's got an extra support for Goku. So meant to be run on Saiyan then. More than Vegeta family. But wow. Health. 50 key, 30 damage. That's like the even better than the purple Vegeta. Like the best support. The best Vegeta support has now been replaced or completed. But imagine running him, the two of them, and a Goku. My freaking god. Imagine if the Super Saiyan 3 Goku gets a Zenkai, and you run Purple Vegeta, this Vegeta, and Green Goku. Wow. That, okay, that's gonna hurt. Shorten allies Saiyan and Vegeta family. Substitution count by one every time he's hit with an enemy. Okay, so that's the new... That's the new hype stuff and it's very powerful. Shortening ally substitution count is crazy. And I believe the purple Vegeta does that as well. Oh my god, that team is going to be interesting to say the least. The Prince Tenacity re reduce enemy key by 50 when changing cover. Annoying. It applies the following effect to self when this character enters the battlefield. 60% damage inflicted. Okay, just for leaving. Reduce damage received by 30%. Okay, so it's got two damage reductions. Right? Uh, yeah, reduce damage reduction from... Okay, so that's the situational one. From regen or powerful opponent, 20%. And then you add a 30% for 15 time accounts every time he enters the battlefield. So that's like 35% damage... Re damage uh, Reduced is quite a lot. Increased damage inflicted according to the number of time accounts elapsed with current character. Up to 60%. So 3 time accounts. Wow. 40% for only 3 time accounts. That's a lot. And 60 for 6 time accounts. Effect resets after character switch. Alright. Uh, I mean the stat, the base stats are not amazing. But he's got a very good team. Well, two very good teams. Vegeta Family, Saiyans. Uh, with, I mean, with Purple Vegeta. Like you can build up like crazy okay very interesting now special move dynamic throw deals major impact damage inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade minus one to awkward draw speed okay so only on the blue card minus one to card draw speed for 15 time account that can be annoying and green card you are number one that's the one plus 20 percent damage inflicted by allies for 20 time accounts oh wow oh wow Destroy all of your own cards and randomly draws for a new one. That's very powerful. No key though. So not as busted as Goku Black. Uh, but still, I mean, he gives 50 key on switch. Uh, Purple Vegeta gives key on switch as well. So after a blast, you switch from Purple Vegeta to him. Pop the green card and you're, go, you're good for another combo. Even if you're out of key. Wow. Then we have key recovery. 30% key recovery on strike, 30% key recovery on blast. All right. And Saiyan and Vegeta family, both defenses. That's very good, especially for Vegeta family. Vegeta family needs the defense big time. They're very good offensively, but defensively they're kind of lacking. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, interesting. Not extra busted, but looking at the support already in that team. Uh, definitely busted like 
like if we go there and we go to the purple vegeta so huge support you know damage inflicted by allies 20 percent here uh random bit was one new card restore ally by by 20 so that's the you get the key if you switch from him so that's the one and you draw one new card so you could switch use a card and then use the green card with the other one so i mean you're sure not to drop your combo you can even use it after a strike huh that's pretty busted that's pretty busted all right let's have a look at kid boo now well, first of all I, why do they do the kid boos with that kind of artwork you know the kind of oil painting kind of you know what i mean uh it's a bit different than the rest why always the kid boos maybe it's the artist that does kid boos only i don't know so regen absorption powerful opponent unknown unknown is a tag Okay, interesting. I didn't know that. So you have all the booze. You have cells, so it's like artificial life forms, but you have a piccolo. What do you have a piccolo? It's like all the people from unknown origin, but we know the origin of piccolo. Slug as well. I don't understand what it's like powerful opponent 2.0. Or they or is there no, I mean there's only bad guys. Anyways, so Kidbu, let's go for a six stars because I'm pretty sure we're not gonna have him <laughs> any more than that. So 2.1 million, 208, 223, 141, 141. Well, that's already better than the Vegeta with similar star, which makes sense. I mean, he's an LF. And at max, just by curiosity, 245, same as Vegeta, 242, 259, 164, 164. Okay, so very balanced, uh, a bit more blast. But yeah, good start again. I mean, fantasy, 14 stars. So let's keep him at six stars. Okay, so decent stats. But to have a six star, you know how many copies? Not realistic at all. Uh, except if you have, if you're going to drop 50k. And even if you drop 50k, you're not guaranteed a six star at all. Main ability, we can imagine. Draw the ultimate as card destruction blaster next. Restores on health by 40% and key by 30. Nice. Seals enemy strike arts. Oh, that's going to be annoying. The seals are going to be used for five time accounts. Cancel enemy attribute upgrade. while wow, you lose all your buffs. Okay, so that's already very disruptive and uh, helps by 40%. It reminds me of the fat boo. That's going to be a dynamic duo. Uh, unique ability unfathomable evil plus 20% to damage inflicted against Saiyan or regeneration. Okay. Uh, cannot be cancelled, same as Vegeta. Applies the following effects to self when battle starts. Plus 90% to damage inflicted? It doubles almost his damage? Okay. Wow. Reduce damage received by 30%. Straight up, no condition. Nullify abdomen condition for 60 time accounts. What? So he cannot be, he cannot be debuffed basically for 60 time accounts. okay that's like okay so very good uh the first at the beginning of a fight basically okay let's continue the following effect occur every four time accounts while this character is on the battlefield every four time accounts which is the time of a combo basically the combo is like four five time accounts right it's basically the time of a combo restores on key by 30 Inflict enemy with attribute downgrades 20% damage received for 15 time accounts. But it's uh, not during a combo, is while is on. So if you stall a little bit in between combos, if the opponent gives you a couple of counts, then you can. And if you catch him on another combo, then you will restore key. Now the problem will be the card draw speed, obviously. Or the card draws all together. Let's see if he draws cards somewhere. Unpredictable, unpredictable movements. Sorry. 
Applies the following effect to self when this character evades enemy attack with a vanishing step. Oh my god, that already sounds... Randomly draws one new card. Draws card. Randomly draws one new card when you have three of your cards. Wow, so that combined with that. My god. Plus what? Plus 50% to vanishing gauge? What? Every time you vanish and there's no like limited to two, three. No, no, it's... Every time you vanish, you draw a card and 50% vanish like half of your vanishing age oh my god the following effect occurs when enemy switches characters while this character is on the battlefield draw a special art move next activate once okay inflict all enemies with two substitution counts so that's unlimited so every time the enemy switch whoever is switched out will be out for 12 counts instead of 10 Inflict all enemies with attribute downgrades, 20% health restoration for 15 time account. That's freaking busted though. Uh, like every four time account. So let's say you start a combo, okay? Uh, so you finish your combo after four time accounts. You step back. So your key, you're getting 30 key after your combo, basically. Uh, you the enemy will get more damage inflicted for the next combo for the next 15 time accounts let's say you do you get a perfect vanish okay or you vanish and you start a new combo you draw a card and you restore 50 percent your damage inflicted and you have enough key to use that card so the only thing that's missing is card draw speed and then it's bloody it's bloody perfect almost Okay, strike, blast, minus 3 to own blast are cost for 15 time accounts on hit. Oh, it's kind of the, the launch kind of... Uh, it launches even more, but like minus 3. How... It costs 29, right? Yeah, it costs 29. So it's 26, 23, 20. So let's say the third one costs 20 and you're getting 30 okay so you have definitely enough to use one more after the four time accounts interesting special move deal massive impact damage randomly applies one one out of the three. Oh, that's the same as the red kill boo so randomly you get at you get definitely one of that buff so you get definitely 15 percent damage inflicted that's the minimum buff you get and you could get up to 45 percent damage inflicted for 10 time accounts Oh, but Kid Buu is on the green card. So that's more busted on the Kid Buu, on the green, on the red Kid Buu. That's on the blue card. So you, will not, you will not pull that many, as many blue cards as you would get green card, I guess. Or it's not, it's not as easier to land. Because the green card of Kid Buu, you don't have to land it. Okay, interesting. Uh, nap time, special skill. Restore on health by 15%. Restore, what? Whoa, whoa, no. Oh my god. So when you vanish... You get 50% and if you pop a green card basically you get your vanish back like that you vanish green card you get your vanish back wow and activates four times so yeah you just have to keep a green card when you have kid boo for kid boo when you know that your opponent has a rising rush or you know you're kind of in trouble and you can do that combo vanish green card it will work four times Plus 30% damage inflicted for 15 time accounts. Increase. Oh, there's the card draw speed. Okay, he's close to perfection then. You have to like you have to have the the good card in hand. Like, you know, it's not all building in your kit, in his kit, and you have nothing to do. He gets everything for free. No, you have to set it up. But I mean, he's busted. If you set that up properly, I mean, it doesn't get key on the green card. That's the only thing that I said perfect. If there was key on the green card, it would be bloody perfect. The only thing missing is key on the green card. But he gets the key every four time accounts. Uh, so with sidestepping, charge stepping, all of this. And if you can buy a little time, my God, because imagine, yes, you do a combo. You have no more key, no more cards. Step back, you have a green card in your hand. Vanish green card. And then you have all the options in the world. You can vanish. 
you can combo, you can wait, you can you have every option available to you. Wow. Okay, and the ultimate deal massive impact damage. Following effects occur upon upon activation, so it doesn't even have to hit 50% ultimate damage for three time accounts. Nullifies, restore health. Okay, nullifies endurance as well. Makes sense. And blast armor. Okay, so normal blast and blast card with which inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade. Okay, so you get more damage with that. She's like what 10%, 20%? It doesn't say. And the main ability 30% regen or powerful opponent blast attack and defense. Makes sense, it's a blast. And plus 15% to regen strike attack. All right, all right, all right. And he's blue. Yeah, I didn't say that, but he's blue, which makes sense. Definitely makes sense for regen. Powerful opponent, uh, blue, blue, purple. The Vegeta is not a powerful opponent, but um, LF Freezer is a powerful opponent. Well, then there will be things to do. There's Fusion Zamazu. I mean, is the Gotenks absorb? No, it doesn't do anything for him, right? Well, he's a buff, but probably not going to be enough. I mean, it's Gotenks was already not used that much. Uh, I mean, Butenks. But now, I mean, Kid Buu is going to replace him. The only difference is that Kid Buu is an LF, so not everybody will have enough stars on him to be able to make him viable. Because, I mean, as usual, under six stars, good luck. Good luck. I mean, if you play, like, you know, with a, like, six-star Broly, I mean, it's always the same. Like, LFs under six stars, forget about it. Broly will be the exception. He's still viable at two stars, but he still gets one shot. But offensively, it's definitely out there with the build-up damage. Now, this one could be the same. Like with this kit, I'll wait to see a showcase or something, but it could be as busted. Uh, low star, offensive-wise. And he's got damage reduction that Broly doesn't. So, I mean, wait and see. He might be pretty good even at lower stars. Because his kit is nuts, to be honest. Completely nuts. All right, and then we have the last one is Buhan. So it's a free to play Buhan uh, rising battle. So let's have a look at 14 stars because that's the way we're going to be able to farm him. 238 health, 215, 239. Not fantastic, but not bad either. 156, 158. Oh, the defense sucks though. Come on, I mean, it's, it's okay defense, but for 14 stars, you would expect at least i would expect more than 160 for a 14 star at least at the bare minimum it's a free to play unit so of course you would expect it to be not as good as an lf or a premium so the way they design this now makes sense with the lf kid boo for example that has 164 okay so you have 10k less so that makes sense the premium unit is better okay fair enough but for me like this should be 10k more 175 and this one 165 then i'd be okay with it it's not bad stuff but it's not crazy okay, let's see the kit my ability uh, go on with your tilly fusion it won't matter gradually restores own health each time each time account for 40 time accounts all right so you've got the regen basics only for the beginning of the fight though. Changes on strike to blast. Okay, interesting. 50% next blast out damage inflicted. Well, for the combo or for the blast? I don't know. Plus 52%, plus 50% to the next special move out damage inflicted. That's pretty good. If he drew a special art, would have been better. But anyway, or special move. Oh, require only five time accounts. Also, he's got the same as the Buhan, the green Buhan. Okay, it can be activated very fast, except that the green Buhan destroys all his cards. This one doesn't, so it's better. Okay, cool. Main ability, uh, unique ability, sorry. Ultimate Magin Power applies the following effect to self. Every time this character uses a strike or a blast, restores key by 10. Very powerful. Very powerful. If you get card cost reduction somewhere 
have to check what you need what regen you need goes cost, cost card reduction because that could, that could be busted 15 percent blast damage inflicted up to 150 percent that's huge but i mean you have to uh to um combo 10 cards well you don't even have to hit with the card you can use them if you use 10 card you have 150 percent that blast damage that's a lot okay so those stats like imagine plus 150 percent that's a lot okay now uh so every time you strike or blast restores key by 10 15 percent of the so 150 randomly draws one card activate three times oh so for the first combo you do if you do a three card combo you draw three card and you get 30 key wow that could be very powerful but 30 key is enough to use a fourth card but then you could switch if he gives key on switch or another unit gets key on switch in that could be very good i'll kill you soon enough apply the following effect to sell from battle stars for 50 time accounts 60 percent damage inflicted okay that's pretty high 40 percent key recovery nullify attribute downgrades and abnormal conditions okay so for 15 time accounts 50 time accounts he's got the same as the kid boo well you cannot uh get him hit him with any downgrades kilbu is 60 this one is 50 and key recovery kilbu has key recovery as well and damage inflicted kilbu has 90 he has 60 so, okay so he's a, like a, a downgraded kilbu basically that's gonna fuel again the kilbu versus buhan theory i don't want to get into this anyway special move mystic shooter deals major slice damage 40 percent to blast damage inflicted for 10 time accounts upon activation okay so more blast damage and the green card so the interesting part nullified enemy attacks excluding certain moves like rising rush but what the following effect occurs if attacks are nullified okay so it's a barrier okay, okay yeah so yeah they put some elements of the green boo there and some elements of the of the green buhan some elements of the kid boo knocks back enemy at long range if they are at long close range restores on key by 30 or <laughs>
maybe with somebody else we'll see how it goes uh, the other Buhan maybe uh, we can do as well uh, purple purple red why not but again the purple options are quite limited there's this uh, red cell you know always a good option anyway let me know what you think um, leave a like uh, if you like the content obviously and if you do and you're not subscribed please do now be good take care be safe as usual as always and i will see you all on the next one